Despite all the doom and gloom in the aftermath of Air Namibia's demise, the Premier assured parliamentarians that all is not lost. Namibia, she said, may in the future have a national airline again in which the nation can take pride. As a country, having to deal with the airline in this manner does not close the door for us as a country in the future to look at the possibility to have an airline that is suitable for our condition, one that we are able to afford because we realize the importance of that. But we are only constrained by the fact that the financial situation that the current airline is in would require more resources than what is available to the government to be able to, to turn around. As for a Namibia's liquidation, Kurongelwa Amadila reiterated that government had exhausted all alternative avenues. She said, given the emotional nature of the developments, government will not shut its doors to those who want to continue discussing claims and bringing forth information related to alleged mismanagement at the airline. In this process, knowing how complex this issue is, knowing how it affects people, we cannot just shut the door and say we are not talking to anyone because we, we, we have this information or we have that information. We are saying that anyone who has the information can just bring that information. If, if there are cases of improprieties, even if they may not have an effect on the liquidation or otherwise, they may necessitate for people to be held accountable. So we cannot say that we are shutting our doors to information that people may have. Government has for years subsidized and bailed out Air Namibia in addition to the efforts made to restructure it and even reviewed studies done in other countries to help rescue Air Namibia's business model. Going forward, Prime Minister Kugongelwa Amadila says government will continue to monitor other public enterprises to ensure that they are managed prudently and if need be, restructured.